what's up guys it's me Robert and for today's video I was like you know what I've been watching videos of like DIY charcoal man I saw some couple videos of them and I was like you know what I'm gonna test that out I have whiteheads and big pores so it kind of have the tendency to get clogged uh, we're gonna do this DIY mask we're gonna do it together and I'm gonna see if it actually works uh, hopefully it does work because you know what I'm tired of these goddamn fucking big pores and whiteheads it gets annoying you know what let's get it with the video and let's do this DIY Hopefully our face comes out sparkling clean like a mother beep. Clean as fuck. Sexy. <laughs> Alright, so get some type of brush in order to like put the mixture in your face. Uh, this is my girlfriend's brush. She let me use it for the video. Obviously get a, some type of bowl in order to put the glue. I recommend this one. And try to get a non-toxic because you're not trying to mess up your face. And these actually got them from Walmart. Really good charcoal pills. They're not that expensive. They're actually pretty cheap. So now let's actually get the charcoal pills, break them, and let's add them together in the mixture to swirl them up to make a really good consistency. But try to add more glue to make a really thicker consistency. Because if it's thin, it's going to be kind of hard not to rip. You want to prevent ripping the mask when you're pulling it off. So try to make a really good texture. Alright, so we're going to section the mask to the four sections in the face. So try to put a lot of glue to make the consistency of the mask really thick so you don't have any difficulty ripping it out and just some pieces having a hard time removing them. Look at that eyes though. <laughs> Shout out to my mom and my daddy. Uh, just joking around. <laughs> Right, as you see, I'm actually getting the first layer dry. So now you're gonna actually, when it gets a little bit dry, you're gonna wanna put two layers. So it can kind of be a thicker consistency when you're ripping it, so it doesn't have a thin layer, so it rips easily. Alright guys, so now that the mask is fully dry, now we're going to prepare to peel it off and hopefully we find all that crazy junk, all that white heads, all the black heads, because you know you're trying to have them clean, them clean face, nah, no pimples in your face, you're trying to keep them clean, but hopefully this actually I get good results, I really don't want to be disappointed and hopefully my face is not red or fucked up. When you start pulling towards your upper cheeks and your nose, that's when it hurts. And I recommend you guys using your nails in order to remove the mask easily. As you guys noticed, it was pretty hard for me to remove this mask. I made it really thin. That's why I'm letting you guys know, make the mask thick in order to pull it off easily. I did get really good results. The only thing I kind of messed up in is making it really thin. For you guys that are actually going to do the DIY, I recommend you guys put a lot of glue to make the consistency really thick. So that'll be all for the video. That was really good results in my opinion. I think I did really take out a lot of junk. I hope you guys really like this video. Don't forget to like and comment. And for that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, I'd like to have dessert for starters. Tell me, baby, can you take my order? Hey, pretty lady.